What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam Your kid will become a TikTok e-boy. Yeah, that's right ladies and gentlemen If you don't press the like button then all of your children will become the thing that everyone in society should fear the most A TikTok e-boy with a little bit of clout Anyways guys as you can tell from the title and thumbnail today We're gonna be talking about douche canoe Daniel aka TikTok eboys 65 uh earlier this week i was <laughs> out and about uh at this one place and i'm not gonna say any names because i don't want anyone to get exposed or get yelled at but there was a kid there that apparently had a solid amount of TikTok clout and uh, i just want to clarify that he actually might have been the worst person to ever exist bro like i don't know what it is about TikTok clout that makes people so unbearable every other type of clout you know we've got a couple crazies but most people are okay like with youtube clout you know Y yeah, you have your Jake Pauls and your Tanas, but for the most part, you have a lot of Mr. Beast and PewDiePies, people that are pretty chill and don't let it go to their head and think they're more important than everybody. But I guess with TikTok, that just goes out the window. They get a little bit of TikTok clout and they're like, ooh, 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 I own you, me, have clout, 12 year old girl, think me hot, ooh. Like, they just get a, a little too into it for their own good. And listening to this TikTok kid interact with people and the way he spoke to them was absolutely ridiculous. And I just knew that you guys would enjoy it. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there's this place in Vegas where people go to just have a good time and chill out. I'm not going to say what it is, but um, I, I was there with a couple people and uh, we were just hanging out doing our thing. And there's like little booths basically where you'll be focusing on doing what you're doing and like you can, you can hear the people next to you, but you're not really with the people next to you. Like you have your own couch and your own table, but there's other couches and tables kind of around you. I don't know if that makes sense. And uh, we're just kind of chilling there, relaxing. It's me and a couple other YouTube friends of mine just kind of vibing, doing what we we gotta do living life to the fullest. And we start hearing this kid next to us talk about how he has, you know, 60,000 followers on TikTok and how he's actually starting to make a, quite a bit of bread from it and whatnot. And we're just kind of chilling. And I mean, good for you, bro. You got 60K followers on TikTok. You get in your bag. You do you. And then the waitress comes over and goes, hey, guys, can we have anything to drink? Or can I get you guys anything to drink? You know, a typical uh, waitress question that you're supposed to ask, you know, when your waitress walks up and they go, what do you want to drink? You're not usually like, what? Why are you asking me such stupid questions, you see wench? So the waitress asks a very normal question, what can I get you to drink? And this kid goes, um, do you have any idea who I am? And she's like, no, am I supposed to? And he's like, wow, uh, I got really big on TikTok for making a joke about Sprite. So uh, I'll take a Sprite. And you can tell she's like, oh, Okay, cool. And he's like, yeah, do you want me to, like, sign anything? And she's like, no. Which, I mean, okay, 60,000 people, that's a lot of followers. Don't get me wrong here, okay? But if you expect, like, every waitress you ever interact with to know you as, oh my god, you're the sprite guy from TikTok, you're delusional, bro. 60,000 is not famous, alright? Like, listen, as somebody who has 2 million sub channels on the internet, um... I don't get recognized nearly as often as I thought I would. I can tell you right now that uh, 60,000 followers, you're never going to get recognized in public because not many adults are sitting there vibing out to TikTok going, oh my god, you're the Sprite kid. And uh, even if you were the Sprite kid from TikTok, why would she just assume that you only drink Sprite? Like, whatever you get famous doing is all you're allowed to do. I'm sitting there anorexic, like, you know, I'm in a German prison camp, like... Uh, I'm only allowed to make story times. I, I tried to eat and they said no. Slapped the bagel out of my mouth and said, Get back to work, you pansy. You got stories to make. Like, I I'm sorry, but uh, it's kind of weird to just assume that everyone knows who you are and knows that you're only allowed to drink Sprite. You got like a gluten allergy, but for diabetes causing syrup. So after hearing this kid generally just being a, a ginormous douche canoe over the fact that he has some TikTok clout, we were kind of paying a little bit more attention, like, kind of just overhearing the conversation, because it's entertaining. Say what you want. Cringe is entertaining, and you can't really deny that. Something about cringe just makes the Jimmy's rustle in a certain way where you just can't help but look away. I think cringy people are a lot like a train accident, you know? You shouldn't look. Oh my god, it's so bad that that train derailed, but at the same time, you're like... I 
kind of want to see a train derail, you know? You, you you want to watch the train wreck, so we're listening, and over the next little bit, before the waitress comes back, uh, as soon as she walks away, we hear, and I quote, Ugh, I hate having to deal with normal people. People that just aren't famous don't understand what it's like. Bro, you are not famous! Brad Pitt is not trying to make a TikTok with the Sprite Kid. Like, you're, you're just not famous. And even then, bro, being famous doesn't make you any better than anybody else, dude. Like, I'm sorry, but if you believe that having some TikTok clout makes you in any way better than any other person, you're a ginormous douche. That's just untrue. And so we're kind of just, like, laughing at it. Whatever, because, I mean, it, it's hard not to laugh when this kid is basically flexing about the fact that he has 60k followers on TikTok, and that makes him better than every person ever. And along with that, he's like, yeah, I'm so hyped that, you know, uh, I'm probably going to be dropping out of school soon to pursue this whole TikTok thing. Which, I mean, listen, I, I dropped out of school to pursue my dreams of, you know, doing things on the internet and making videos. But I'm going to be honest here, I don't really know if TikTok bread is an actual thing, okay? I don't know anybody out there who's like... Like, on that TikTok grind, pulling in the bands like David Dobrik. So maybe dropping out isn't the best idea, especially with, like, 60k followers, alright? I had a quarter of a million subs when I dropped out. That's four times 60k. Like, dropping out of high school to chase 60k followers on TikTok is probably not a very good investment with your time. Uh, you might regret it. So the waitress comes back with their drinks, and he, like, makes her put them on the table at a weird angle where they're ridiculously close to the edge. And this is where my interaction really comes in with the kid. Like, listen, I probably wouldn't make a video just roasting some poor kid with 60k followers on TikTok unless he personally slighted me. Like, yeah, you're a douche for, you know, thinking you're better than a waitress because you've got TikTok clout. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, what happened next is what really just, you know, made me need to make a video on this stupid kid. So, he makes the waitress put the drinks down in a very awkward spot on the edge of the table where, like, half the tray is almost off the table. So, we can almost immediately tell that at some point it's going to spill. And sure enough, it spills and, like, five Pepsis worth of Pepsi comes, like, rolling under the couch and gets all over one of my friend's shoes. So, we're kind of annoyed and we're like, dude, can you clean this up? Like, can you get someone to clean this up? You just spilt all over us. Like, what? Come on, like, chill. And obviously, you know, we're not mad, we're not trying to start a fight, but we're like, look dude, you're the idiot who decided to rest all these Pepsis in a terrible spot where you knew it was gonna fall, so can you get someone to clean it up? And he's like, wow, you guys really think that I'm gonna help you clean it up? I don't owe you anything, like, I don't know who you are, you guys are irrelevant, da 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 which I mean, listen, okay, I'm not saying you owe strangers anything, but if you're an idiot and you spill Pepsi all over somebody else's shoes, the least you could do is, like, call a waitress to help us clean up the Pepsi that is now all over where we're supposed to be sitting, okay? Not to mention, what does relevance have to do with anything, bruh? If I spilled soda all over a janitor without a Twitter account, it doesn't matter how he's not relevant on the internet, it's still a bad thing to do. And at this point, I lose my temper. I'm like, look, dude, I know you think you're important because you have 60,000 TikTok followers or whatever because it's every other word that comes out of your mouth is about how you're uh, relevant on the least relevant app. So congratulations, good for you. Uh, literally nobody cares. Your only personality trait is being a douche. So you're going to go get someone to clean this up or we're going to have problems. And he's like, oh, who do you think you are to talk to me like that? Who do you think you are? Like, do you have any idea who I am? No, I don't because you're irrelevant. I hate to break it to you, dude, but you're just, you're not popular. I'm sorry. You're irrelevant. You have 60,000 followers on TikTok. Nobody cares. And he's like, oh, well, how many followers do you have on TikTok? And I'm like, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. And he goes, oh, well, I mean, if I've got more followers than you, then that makes me more relevant than you. So I don't have to listen to anything you say, which I mean, is not how the world works, bro. You can't get arrested by the cops and be like, well, technically I have more TikTok followers. So therefore rules don't apply to me. And so I ask him, I say, so if I have more followers than you, if I do, then you are going to admit that you'll go get someone to clean it up. And he smirks and smiles at me and goes, yeah, but there's no way you're as relevant as me. I whip out my TikTok, show him my 130,000 followers, by the way, and uh, he immediately is like, oh... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I'm like, dude, if you're only gonna treat people like a human being if they have TikTok clout, then you're just a bad person. Like, not once ever have I decided to be friends with somebody based on their sub count or their TikTok followers because that's ridiculous. And even then, if I did, I would still treat everyone with respect, dude. Like, this kid did not care about anything at all until he found out I had more TikTok followers than him, and now he's all apologetic. 
So he goes and gets some like rags and starts cleaning this up and then afterwards he looks at me and tries to shake my hand and I just kind of look at his hand I'm like no dude and he's like oh will you at least follow back on TikTok? You want me to follow you back on TikTok after you just said that my opinions don't matter unless I have followers. Yeah how about no that is not the type of person that I want to be friends with. I'm sure you're tons of fun to chill with. Yo guys let's go to the store. Sorry can't. Uh, the, the clerks there don't even have 60,000 TikTok followers. Like, dude, there are so many more important things in life than the amount of TikTok followers you have. So, yeah, moral of the story is Homeboy tried to get that slick follow black and he, uh, caught the block instead because I just don't want to deal with people that think they're more important based upon their TikTok follower count. Like, come on, guys, can we all agree that E-Boy's egos are getting a little bit too big and we probably need to tear them down a couple threads? Real talk, though, that's gonna do it for the video. Cop yourself some Scrubby merch for Christmas. Use code SCRUBBY at GFUEL checkout. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Turn on notifications. Today's notification shoutout goes to Annalise321. One big thank you for having on notifications. If you want a notification, shout out, send a screenshot to my Instagram at Scrubby. Like I said, buy some merch. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm out. Peace.